Chào các bạn đến bài luyện tiếng Anh tiếp theo bài hôm nay của chúng ta là bài số 17. Lesson 17. Lesson 17. Many. Many. Few. Few. Match. Match. Matchbox. Matchbox. Match làm chờ. Box làm gì? Are there many people in a small village? Are there many people in a small village? No, there aren't many people in a small village. No, there aren't many people in a small village. There are few people in a small village. There are few people in a small village. Are there few people in a large city? Are there few people in a large city? No, there aren't few people in a large city. No, there aren't few people in a large city. There are many people in a large city. There are many people in a large city. Have you and I got many pens? Have you and I got many pens? No, you and I haven't got many pens. No, you and I haven't got many pens. We've got few pens. We've got few pens. Are there few matches in a matchbox? Are there few matches in a matchbox? No, there aren't few matches in a matchbox. No, there aren't few matches in a matchbox. There are many matches in a matchbox. There are many matches in a matchbox. Friend. Friend. Friendly. Friendly. Have you got any friends? Have you got any friends? Yes, I've got some friends. Yes, I've got some friends. Do you think the people in your town are friendly? Do you think the people in your town are friendly? No, I don't think the people in my town are friendly. They're unfriendly. No, I don't think the people in my town are friendly. They are unfriendly. Are the countries of Europe generally friends now? Are the countries of Europe generally friends now? Yes, the countries of Europe are generally friends now. Yes, the countries of Yes, the countries of Europe are generally friends now. Into. Into. In. In. That. That. Another. Another. We use into for a thing that moves from one place to another, and in for a thing that remains in one place. Chúng ta sử dụng từ into cho một cái thứ mà di chuyển từ một cái nơi này đến một cái nơi khác, còn từ in cho một cái thứ mà nó ở nguyên, nó giữ yên ở một cái nơi. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're putting your pen into your pocket. You're putting your pen into your pocket. Bạn đang đặt một cái cây viết và vào cái túi của bạn, có nghĩa là cây viết nó từ cái vị trí này sang vị trí khác, thì chúng ta sẽ sử dụng giấy từ là into. Where's my pen now? Where's my pen now? Cái viết bây giờ của tôi ở đâu? Your pen's in your pocket now. Your pen's in your pocket now. Bây giờ thì cái viết nó ở trong cái túi của bạn. Your pen's in your pocket now. Thì ở đây chúng ta sẽ sử dụng giới từ là in. Bởi vì cái viết nó ở nguyên cái vị trí là là trong cái túi. Nó không có di chuyển. Thì nó là in. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're coming into the classroom. You're coming into the classroom. Bạn đang đi vào lớp học có nghĩa là bạn từ một cái vị trí nào khác đi vào cái lớp học thì cái đó là thể hiện sự di chuyển vị trí cho nên chúng ta sẽ sử dụng là giới từ into. Where am I now? Where am I now? Bây giờ tôi ở đâu? You're in the classroom now. You're in the classroom now. Bây giờ bạn đang ở trong lớp. Dùng giới từ là in. What's the difference between into and in? What's the difference between into and in? Khác nhau giữa into và in là như thế nào? The difference between into and in is that we use into for a thing that moves from one place to another and in for a thing that remains in one place. 
The difference between into and in is that we use into for a thing that moves from one place to another, and in for a thing that remains in one place. C. C. Such as. Such as. What can you see in this room? What can you see in this room? I can see many things in this room. I can see many things in this room, such as some students, a table, a clock. Such as some students, a table, a clock. Can you see her? Can you see her? Yes, I can see her. Yes, I can see her. I can see her. Can you see anything in my left hand? Can you see anything in my left hand? No, I can't see anything in your left hand. No, I can't see anything in your left hand. Why? Why? Because. 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 Similar. Similar. Two. Two. Greenwich. Greenwich. Why and because have similar meanings, but we generally use why in questions and because in answers. À, nói ở đây à, câu này nói rằng từ why và từ because nó có nghĩa tương đồng nhau, nó có nghĩa là ná nhau. Từ why sử dụng cho câu hỏi, còn từ because thì là dùng trong cái câu trả lời. Còn tiếng Việt khi mình dịch ra, ra thì cái từ why nó nghĩa là tại sao, vì sao, còn because có nghĩa là bởi vì, à, vì. Uh, What's the difference between why and because? What's the difference between why and because? Uh, trong tiếng Việt thì nó cái từ tại sao với bởi vì nó cũng không có ná ná nhau lắm, cho nên là cái câu này nó cũng không có ổn lắm. Uh, sự khác nhau giữa why và because như thế nào? The difference between why and because là uh, chúng ta sử dụng why trong questions, uh, because trong answers. The difference between why and because is that we generally use why in questions and because in answers. The difference between why and because is that we generally use why in questions and because in answers. Can you touch the ceiling? Can you touch the ceiling? No, I can't touch the ceiling. No, I can't touch the ceiling. Bạn có thể chạm cái trần nhà không? Không, tôi không thể chạm. Why not? Why not? Tại sao không? Because the ceiling's too high for me to touch. Because the ceiling's too high for me to touch. Bởi vì cái trần nhà thì nó quá cao đối với tôi để mà chạm. Can you put this book into your pocket? Can you put this book into your pocket? No, I can't put that book into my pocket. No, I can't put that book into my pocket. Why not? Why not? Because that book's too large to go into my pocket. Because that book's too large to go into my pocket. Bởi vì cuốn sách đó nó quá to để mà có thể cho vào cái túi tôi được. Can we call Grantchester in England a city? Can we call Grantchester in England a city? Chúng ta có thể gọi Grantchester ở England là một thành phố được không? No, we can't call Grantchester in England a city. No, we can't call Grantchester in England a city. Why not? Why not? Because Grantchester is too small for us to call a city. Because Grantchester is too small for us to call a city. Grantchester is a village. Grantchester is a village. Bởi vì Grantchester thì quá nhỏ để cho chúng ta gọi nó là một thành phố. Grantchester chỉ là một cái ngôi làng có một cái thôn làng thôi. Second. Second. Minute. Minute. Hour. Hour. Make. Make. How many seconds make a minute? How many seconds make a minute? 60 seconds make a minute. 60 seconds make a minute. 60 giây thì tạo thành một phút. How many minutes make an hour? How many minutes make an hour? Bao nhiêu phút thì tạo thành một giờ? 60 minutes make an hour. 
60 minutes make an hour. 60 phút thì tạo thành 1 giờ. Can you make a suit? Can you make a suit? Bạn có thể mai bộ đồ cơm bê hay không? Yes, I can make a suit. Yes, I can make a suit. Adjective. Adjective. Tính từ. The words black, white, large, small, high, low, etc. are adjectives. In English, we put adjectives before nouns. Những cái từ như là màu đen, màu trắng, lớn, nhỏ, cao, thấp là, là những cái tính từ. Trong tiếng Anh thì chúng ta đặt tính từ trước danh từ. We put adjectives before nouns. Give me some examples of adjectives, please. Give me some examples of adjectives, please. Cho tôi một vài ví dụ về tính từ. Some examples of adjectives are black, white, large. Some examples of adjectives are black, white, large. Is the word book an adjective? Is the word book an adjective? No, the word book isn't an adjective. No, the word book isn't an adjective. It's a noun. It's a noun. The word, uh, từ book không phải là một tính từ mà nó là một danh từ, noun. Which word is the adjective in this sentence? Which word is the adjective in this sentence? The green pen is on the floor. The green pen is on the floor. The word green is the adjective in this sentence. The word green is the adjective in this sentence. The green là tính từ trong câu này. In English, do we put an adjective before or after a noun? In English, do we put an adjective before or after a noun? In English, we put an adjective before a noun. In English, we put an adjective before a noun. Give me an example, please. Give me an example, please. A blue book. A blue book. A high ceiling. A high ceiling. An easy language. An easy language.